Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Friends, family, um, associates, followers, leaders, all of you guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. Here we are at Hoods, and today is material shopping part two, so you'll, this may or may not be the intro, um, if I've already intro it, I'll just cut all this out. If it is the intro, well then what we're doing is we are material shopping. I think we're going to go with, that's why we're at Hoods, we're going to go with this stuff, which is like shiplap ply. Just got a splinter. Which is like shiplap ply, and then we'll just paint it to uh, match shiplap. Um, I think that's the route we're going, but we're here at Hoods. We're hanging out with the big bear. We got... Uh, what are these things called? Not the abominable snowman, obviously. Um, uh, Bigfoot? Is that what those things are called? Bigfoot? Hanging out with Bigfoot at Hoods. Material shopping. So we'll go into Hoods and see what they've got. You know, one of my downfalls as a, uh, uh, I guess, uh, entrepreneur, want to be entrepreneur, entrepreneur, is I'm not a very creative individual. I'm just not. I, I'm creative when it comes to um, business ideas and um, what I would deem creative marketing. Um, but like when it comes to, you know, like, oh, I'll pair this with that and it'll look great. It'll be a unique look. I'm just, my brain just doesn't work that way. You know, we know your pros and weaknesses. So I go through these places like this and I'm like, man, this hardwood would look really good. Um, and it's just, it's, it's a struggle for me. Um, I am struggling right now with the idea of the ship lap and the corrugated metal underneath. Cause I do like that look. But I don't know if I like that look for dealership, a car lot, uh, office. And I, I, and I If you guessed that we're spending a lot of time in hoods right now, you would be right. So here's the latest break in the case. That uh, boards that we were looking at two weeks ago was $25 a square, uh, or not a square, a sheet, is now $40 a sheet, which is okay for the budget, but me to you, for the cost of it, it's not worth it to me. Men Starbucks drive through that's just kind of the way things are going right now. Um, we do think we've got a, a, a different plan though. I think what we're going to um, look into and price out is uh, doing drywall up top and then the bottom is going to be like either a peel and stick or even a flooring or even shiplap boards painted um, whatever is cost effective on the bottom so get away from the corrugated metal because I didn't know how, how um, in love with that I was anyways and then uh, do that so it'll give a little bit of a texture difference maybe not to the feel but definitely to the eye it'll look different textures um, and then the drywall seams we're gonna create fake beams so faux beams um, instead of taping and mudding that that'll also give a little dimension there as well just trying to make the best creativeness out of the space for the best dollar I'm not trying but again to that point I do want it to look good and I want it to have a, a, a nice visual appeal to it which is why we're putting so much thought into this so I think that's what we're doing getting ready to grab a coffee coffee and a sandwich um, then we're headed to the car lot where we're going to remove all of that uh, plastic um, paneling and then uh, come up with a plan tonight when my dad gets home on, uh, on what the best approach is. I'm really leaning on him hard here because I've ran a woodworking business where I've built tables and stuff like that and I can do that. But when it comes to construction stuff like remodeling and I'm sure I can figure it out but now is not the time for trial and error. Um, now is the time to do it the right way or the, the most cost effective way and that's why I'm leaning on him so that's where we're at check the mic and make sure it sound right boys
sound right, boys. see dermoin but we're getting our butts kicked on this carpet here so we're going into town right now to uh, get a carpet knife to cut this into strips and hopefully a uh, scraper to help scrape the carpet up um, completely forgot to record anything to do with pulling the carpet up but what you're seeing in this clip here is um, we're having to go at this glue that was under the carpet with the only thing I had that could work was a shovel. I know they make uh, uh, roofing shovels that probably could have helped a little better. In fact, a buddy of mine showed up later on with one. Um, but even he said that the shovel we had might have been doing a better job than what he had. He joked with my wife about. So you're seeing me kind of go at this glue with the uh, the shovel. But what you'll see here in a minute is there's one section and it's only like a two by two square section of uh, glue that no matter what we do, whether we're using a pry bar and a hammer or whether we're going out just with the shovel, it just will not come up and it's, it's super hard. I don't think I got it on footage, but what I ended up doing was going at it with the backside of the claw hammer and just beating it until it let loose of the uh, concrete in sections. I intentionally left this clip in here because baby girl was obsessed with the camera. She kept grabbing it and saying hi, hi, hi. I can't have the audio uh, playing on this because there's music in the background and um, not that it matters right now, but it'll get flagged and demonetized. Not that I'm getting paid for these anyways, but she was obsessed with the camera. So I decided to leave this little clip in here. You can see a uh, baby girl having a good time with the camera. Touch it now, please. Okay. okay. 
Squid. I know they see you, baby. Wanted to shoot a wrap up video for the day and talk about everything that happened and what all we had planned to continue on. But the camera actually broke somewhere after this. The, the battery was going dead and we hooked it up. And then when I went to turn it back on, um, the gimbal would no longer work. So um, the wrap up for it is basically what you see. We got the rest of that flooring up, we cleaned up uh, and we got ready for the next day. The next video, what you'll see is the interior uh, we're starting on and there's a big surprise in that video. So be sure to tune in and uh, check it out. If you like this video, if you like this series, this is what real entrepreneurship looks like. This is where it starts, the nitty gritty, the hard stuff. Um, give me a like, drop me a comment below if there's something you would have done differently, if there's an easier way for future reference for anybody watching this video. Um, and uh, if you have an inkling to what the surprise is for the next video, go ahead and drop it in the comments below as well. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. It helps me out greatly. I'm doing this for uh, anybody who wants to be an entrepreneur, anybody who's looking to become an entrepreneur, whether you're getting out of the military and going after it or in general. But this is the stuff that the, the pamphlet doesn't tell you about, the hard backbreaking stuff that dreams are built of. I appreciate everybody, all the love and support, and I hope everybody's crushing their dreams.